Right, so we're here today at Nova Forza with uh, the man himself, a bit of a mystery, kind of disappears, yeah. comes in and out of the country a little bit, looking very well. We're here with Banny. And Davin. Banny, so talk to me, what's been going on? Where you been? Oh, I've just been out um, training over in Thailand. Uh, been up there for about a month over in Phuket Top Team. Shout out to them. I'm back at home at my Nova Forza now. Yeah, so I've been keeping busy, keeping busy. What, what was the weather like out there? Because you, oh, you, you know come, come back Thailand, with that, that yeah. Hollywood glow. That's what I'm saying. For, ta for Thailand, it weren't too good. It was raining most of the time, a couple of days. But to be fair, I weren't out there for the weather. So I can't complain, do you know what I mean? I was out there training every day. So sun was nice. It was humid. So I got a nice climate when I was training. So other than that, yeah. It, it, was, a, it, was, a, it was a good experience. One of the better ones in my life. Put my interest in it. If anything, it was more mentally than just for the training. Just to get away from everything that you're around. And it's, uh, get away from the same same shit, you know what I mean? The same shit that you're surrounded by every day that you sit there and get wrapped up in it. Get wrapped up in it. Get away and you see a different life, see a different people, see how people live, see, see everything really. See everything with a different perspective. See different goals. Everyone just peaceful, peaceful people. That's it. So what's kind of like influence, you know, your decision to um, go over to Thailand? I know like... Um, you know, earlier on in the year, you know, you kind of did have your first loss, which didn't. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know you that, wasn't too to happy be fair, about it. That, that was a, that was a big. I'm not going to make it. No excuses. It was always a trip I was going to make because I'm still young. I'm 23. It was always. To be fair, I'm going to make no excuses. I just I weren't taking my some my, my shit serious. To get what I'm saying. I, I was winning. I was getting comfortable. And you know what? To be fair, I got my ass handed to me. To get what I'm saying. I, I was winning a stand up. Got my got shown a lesson. Do you know what? Took took the fight, thought I could take it a heavier weight, thought I was the man if you want. Let's, let's put it right. That's how it was, that's how it went down. Thought I was the man guy in there, do what I normally do. And to be fair, it goes to show in MMA, you come unstuck no matter who you are and how big your talk is, you know, so you still gotta go in there and be the man you claim to be. So and then the Thailand book it weren't even booked. That's that's the wickedness, it weren't even booked. Within within I think it was about three days. Uh, as every fighter knows, it depends if you're taking it serious or not. That's what made me realise, you know what, this is what I want to do. And I was like, went home, and I was just like, wow, I got hit with this cloud, some big cloud over my head, and I was just like, wow. Like, you, you, you see who's really there for you, do you get what I'm saying? Who really is your supporters when you're winning and then you lose. I know it's a cliche to say, do you get what I'm saying? But I went home, spoke to my dad, my old man, my biggest supporter, my old man, do you get what I'm saying? Like, he's always been there for me, like, no matter what I do. And straight away, he, he said, listen, you need to get out of here. Like, I got caught up in some stupid stuff. I was like, right, bang. He's like, I'll send you over to Thailand. So I'm not gonna lie and claim it was me that put it out there and I had the dollar to do it. It was funded by my old man. Do you get what I'm saying? I'm not gonna lie to you. So big shout out to him. Do you know what I'm saying? He said, boom, done everything for me. Put it all out there. He sent me over there. He said, but he didn't make me. Do you get what I'm saying? He said, there's the choice. You make the choice now if you want to take it serious. That like, I'll help you along the way. And. For me, it was hard. It was a hard choice. I've got a little boy who's like four years old. To go and leave him, to get what I'm saying. You make, you look around and you see other people making decisions. And I thought, you know what? It's the best time in my life to try. You know what I'm saying. I went out there and it, yeah, it was the best thing I've done. So I'm now back here at my home, no Forza, with my boys. Just ready to go again. Ready to go. Get back in there. Fresh minded, fresh faced. That's about it. <laughs> yeah. So right. So basically, now you're on the uh, UCMMA 48 card. Yeah. Yeah. Um, how does it feel, you know, to, to now transition and, and you know, um, make your way onto UCMMA? Because I know you were supposed to fight on there before. It yeah, didn't quite yeah. happen. It, it was, uh, to be fair, it was, always a, it was always a fight I was going to do. I was meant to be on there like twice and twice I got um, thing, uh, hit with injuries, if you want. Um, one, of, one of the cases, it was, again, it was private life. It was getting mixed up and everything else. And then um, something happened without going into details, you know what I'm saying? And then, um, I had to pull out of that one and then the second one I was having a good camp I was having a good camp and then I broke my rib on the second time so and then it got to a point I was like I don't know if this is meant for me this show do you get what I'm saying so and then I think it was um Dave messaged my manager he was like we're happy to give him another go and I said do you know what let me after I got back from I think it was during Thailand um I got put on it and I was like do you know what feeling the best I've ever felt so I was like yeah let's go let's do this and now a couple of weeks away, I'm best shape I've ever been in, ready to go. Smiling, do you know, I'm smiling again. That's, that's, that's the best thing for me. As before, I weren't ever smiling when I was training, I was coming here. Do you know what I'm saying? I didn't even know if I wanted to be here. So now I'm just smiling, 
like a couple of weeks before my fight, I weren't really doing that before. So, happy days. So, you got um, Oli Mathis. What do you know about Oli Mathis? To be fair, do you know what? I looked him up. His game. His game. Like now, that's that's one thing I learned. Like I'm never ever gonna sit there and not respect an opponent. Do you get what I'm saying? So I'm not gonna sit there and shout out and say boom this. I learnt my lesson. Do you get what I'm saying? I respect him in the sense of right, he comes, he bangs, he's got wrestling, he's got jujitsu, he does MMA. Do you get what I'm saying? He's, he's he's the MMA package if you want. Do you get what I'm saying? But for me personally, I'm ready. Don't I don't look too much into my opponents. Do you get what I'm saying? I know I've watched it. I've watched him, and that's what I need to do. I'm coming ready. I'm coming ready. Yeah, so, you know, obviously you kind of stated you've been out in uh, Thailand <coughs> training, um, look good. You know, what could we expect to, to see from you now at UCMMA that, you know, but we may have not seen from you before previously in your other fights? Just improve improvements, really. To be fair, I've been working hard. Do you know what I'm saying? Like I said, it's MMA, anything can happen. But as long as I come out without asking myself the question, what if again? And I'm happy, do you get what I'm saying? So if I go in there knowing I have fighting how I know I can fight and going out there with a the heart that I know I've got, like me personally, I should come out with the win. Uh, that's just the self belief I have in myself. Um, that's the self belief my coach is having me, that's everything else. I put I took in taking this a lot a lot more serious. A lot more serious. So just everyone should expect a good fight. I'm going for a fight tonight, that's how I always come out. I come out to bang. If you watch my fights, I come out for I come out for a walk. If you want to go to the floor, I'm ready for the floor games, you know what I'm saying? I've been working my floor games. If you want to wrestle me, we'll wrestle. At 66 kilos, like I said, I took the fight at a lot heavier weight than my last one. And to be fair, it got on the floor, he felt heavy. But on the stand-up, I was beating him, uh, wobbled him. So 66 kilos, yeah, I feel comfortable. That's my weight, that's where I'm going to be sitting. That's where I'm going to be sticking at. And to be fair, I think I've got the strength of my hands. If I put one on someone's chin, that 66 kilos is wobbling. So that's my opinion. Prove me wrong, innit? Prove, someone proved me wrong. Look, I see you sporting the new sort of like Goham stuff. I mean, yeah, what's, what's yeah, the deal yeah, with you and Goham? Goham, Goham. Basically, it's a new sponsor, new merchandise, everything. They, do you know what? They look after me. They look after me big. So I'll just ring them up. If I need stuff, they send me. They've got everything down to rash guards, down to boxing gloves, shin guards, casual wear, tracksuits, hats, anything you need. Like, go on the website. If you've got me on Instagram or anything, Kel, shout out. I've got a little um, discount code, use my discount code, big shout out to them though, they're doing big things, sponsoring a lot of fighters and do you know what, to be fair, their stuff is good, their, their stuff is good, so, yeah. Alright, well, I don't know, I think that, that's about, I think we've got enough, we've got, we've got anything to, to say to add to that, no, no, the man behind the camera doesn't have anything Just, to uh, add to big that. Big shout out to my coach, Ricardo Silva, Fia Fia W, always there for me, my team, Jarvis Gray, Billy Cornell, Diego Barbosa, just everyone in there, Harry Bruce, Nathaniel Woods, just names just coming out of nowhere. Big shout out to Phuket top team as well. If you're ever in Thailand, make sure you get out there because the training is absolutely unbelievable. I'm not just saying that, I think a lot of people will back me up as well. Big shout out to all there, it's like a family over there. And other than that, go ham, managers, DMI management, coming. Oli Mathis, we're just come and do this. Turn up, we'll do this, brother.